Hey guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the themes, explanation and analysis of summer in Calcutta by Kamala Das. Guys, thank you so much for your visit to our family. We need your support and love. Please press subscribe button and bell icon. It's totally free. Good luck for your exams. Now enjoy. This poem is a, the title piece of the anthology of the poems, which was published in 1965. That's why this is the most important poem to study. And uh, this is also in syllabus of this UK, UK PGT English. So let's go ahead and let's talk about this. The poem projects through actions and gestures, a self-contained mood of sensuous luxury. The image of the April sun is, it is very important to know uh, that she is comparing April sun, okay? The image of April sun, in it brings the poet, uh, poet a sense of sensuous repletion. So April sun is, uh, you can say, imagery or illusion for sensuous repletion of warm intoxication which inspires as well as relaxes so that my worries does so uh, these these words tell and expresses her sensuous repletion the poem celebrates the mood of temporary triumph over the defeat of love it is an indian poet's creative re reaction to the torture of the indian summer what distinguishes Kamala Das's reaction in her unconscious intimacy with her torture. The poet is comparing the sun with, with a ripe orange. So it can be a question in your exam. Uh, it can be asked that we, which fruit is compared with the sun. Okay. Or sun is compared with which, which, uh, which fruit. So the answer will be ripe orange. She is comparing it with ripe orange seems to enjoy even the harshness of the heat uh, she was uh, born in punna punnar kulam and uh, this is the place in kerala in 1934 kamala spent several years in calcutta where she went to catholic schools she was married fairly early before she finished her college so she happens to be the perhaps the only leading english poet without a degree to her name so this is also a fact good fact to remember that uh, she is the only leading english poet without a degree to her name she began writing early and published her first poem so first poem this is also a good fact to write down uh, the uh, the indian pen the first volume of her collected poems published in 1984 won her the Sahitya Academy Academy Awards in 1985. So the poems got published in 1984 and she got Sahitya Academy in 1985. Kamala Das has been uh, typecast as a confessional poet. So this is next. She is called a uh, confessional poet. It is her brutal frankness to her words that shocked and attracted readers <clears throat> kamala das writes about sexual frustration and desire of the suffocation of an arranged love loveless marriage and numerous affairs of the futility of lust of the shame and sorrow of not finding love after repeated attempts of the loneliness and neurosis that stalks women especially the poet is comparing the sun with a ripe orange seems to enjoy even the harshness of heat though she compares the sunshine with an orange juice she tells that even the juice makes her drunk under the influence of the drink she forgets her worries and pains and indulges herself fantasizing about her beloved yet she is impulsive by nature and thus cannot concentrate on his beloved for too long as she is too engulfed in the enjoyment of the hot but beautiful summer in calcutta so you should go through the you know the poem and then you will understand the analysis if you have not un uh, gone through the poem you will not get the analysis
but even if you have not read the poem you can have some idea that uh, what the comparisons are and what she is writing about the poem some questions you can clear being a modern poem uh, the theme of the poem is not straightforward but it's rather a mixture as you can see here it is not uh you know the clear straightforward because modernism when we say modernism modernism is about confusion okay the mixture of a number of themes interwoven intricately with each other giving the poem postmodernist flavor so this poem is from postmodernist uh, poetry and apparently the poem talks about how the poetess enjoys the indian summer with a number of drinks the poem offers a unique subjective experience where something which is heavily disliked in our social context has been presented as something desirable nonchalantly the poet subjectively subjectively represents a personal experience of a universal phenomena the meaning is warped in the extended metaphor of the sun you know extended metaphor metaphor which is not uh, uh you know previously used you can say or it is not uh, you know kind of uh, metaphor which is you know usual it is rare kind of uh, you know comparison that is called extended metaphor the sun being compared to an orange nobody compares it except when we you know read hanuman chalisa <laughs> the the heat and uh, its uh, cynic dark dark sweat transformed into juice even more sexually explicit ideas are presented in euphemistic language okay euphemistic we say euphemism when we are using a soft word for a hard word okay so language of a season and its usual drinks kamla das confesses our impulsiveness uh nymphomanical and alcohol abusive attributes through very carefully selected words but as usually straightforward enough to make us smile just like the novel sprite in the poem the tone of the poem is half satirical and uh, half confessional so you can say the themes are satirical or confessional theme at the same time the lines ex exudes a sense of confidence the confidence of a person who has nothing much to lose and thus enjoy the life of a hedonistic by basis strikingly enough the line lens show that the poem's passion is well in control the fact that the poem seems to be a recollection might be the reason behind this rare control of passion abusive attributes through very carefully we have done we have gone through this uh so the word here confidence you can say half confessional satirical now uh, the poem is very straightforward so you can have these words as keywords in your mind okay the fact is poem seems to recollection might be the reason behind the rare control of passion the entire poem is actually a recapitulation uh next word you can remember recapitulation of things past and thus is actually nothing but an experience removed from the planes of reality it communicates a state of mind under the duress of pain half forgotten and thus communicates only an abstract sense of oneness and fragmentation caused by condition of deliriousness the entire poem seems to be an image of continuous manner the image of the sun as the orange the heat of the sun as liquid the liquid being the liquor and liquor turning into poison are a chain of images that warms so you can uh, have these things in mind now uh, because because of exams exam purpose okay this sun is compared to an orange this image invokes both the mythical signifier of an incident of one one trying to eat the sun thinking it to be a fruit and uh, since the month of april is mentioned we tend to remember the line april is the cruelest month you know the wasteland by t.s eliot and uh, the wonderful simile of the bubbles being compared with the novice 
a smile of the bride are a chain of images okay so you can uh, there are so many um chain of you know images you can see here and here a comparison sex being a large part of kamala's uh, you know fault to is often invoked consciously and unconsciously and when we both expect and unexpected thus as usual with kamala das she surprises us with her erratic and erotic linguistic turns of phrases her unconventional images then here you can see unconventional images she use uses extended metaphor you can connect to this word okay unconventional comparisons can be called extended metaphor okay for remembering in short and symbols and her frank acceptance of bitter truths of life thus the poem which appears to be descriptive one actually reaches to be a reminiscence of guilt so this is the poem there are some uh, you know images you can remember from this poem they can be asked in exams hope you enjoyed this analysis let's meet in next video bye bye take care good luck for exams